Yo, what's good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Lostos back with another video. And I know it's been a minute since I made a video regarding sneaker news, but that's about to change today. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so for the first news worth uh, mentioning to you guys is that as of June 1st, Adidas will be resuming selling Yeezys. So they're not back with Kanye. I did some research. They're not back with Kanye. They're just been given the green light to uh, resume selling the Yeezys. Kanye and Adidas still haven't reached an agreement in terms of um, a contract and getting back together. So what they're doing is that they're get, they're selling their Yeezy in their current Yeezy inventory. Then they're gonna whatever from whatever they sell, Kanye is gonna get a fifteen percent commission, and they're gonna be donating um money to charity which i think is great for charity charity wise and for kanye for the long run if adidas doesn't reach a term to get kanye back they are gonna lose a lot of money in the future but as of now it's kind of like a w for everyone because i honestly i kind of miss yeezys i'll be honest so but yeah that's really great for adidas second uh sneaker news is we're gonna be talking about uh ant's upcoming shoe so if you guys don't know who Ant is, that is Anthony Edwards, a uh, shooting guard for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So apparently he is going to have his own signature shoe. If you guys don't know, he signed with Adidas as well. So this is another Adidas news. And I'm going to be showing a picture. It kind of reminds me of the, I think it's the Kobe or the Vince Carters. I can't remember the name of the shoe, but I'm going to post a picture. It reminds me ver very much of that shoe. It was like a silver lining and it had like the three stripes. I thought that was a very dope basketball shoe at the time. And I'm very happy for Ant. He's actually like one of the, like, I kind of, he's like one of my favorite basketball players right now because I just find like he's so athletic. He got like that swag in him and he's really going to do well in the league. And um, yeah, very happy for him. And hopefully his shoe do, does well. But a lot of people, I, I've seen in the comments, a lot of people have been bashing him in terms of like, and, and Adidas because, you know, he's not Kanye. And But, you know, let the, let him grow, okay guys? Give him a chance. All right, so for the next sneaker news, guys, a lot of pictures have been surfacing as of late regarding the Royal One Suede. We're gonna take a closer look. Here are some of some pictures regarding the Royal One Suede. Now, me, I have the Royal One from 2017, so this is easily a pass for me. Honestly, I don't know, it just looks weird to me that they put suede on a shoe that was composed of leather. But I feel like Jordan Brand is trying to give you guys suede so if ever like because suede whenever you brush or like you kind of scrape it it kind of gives that like aged look so I think that's what they're going for but honestly for me I just I just wish that Jordan Brand kept it the way it is. I think it will be a dope shoe for those that are unable to that were unable to cop the 2017 version the leather. I have the leather so I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna cop the suede and I'm just disappointed for Jordan Brand because honestly you know if it ain't broke don't fix it just leave it as it is so yeah I'm definitely gonna be easy pass if those for those that want to get the shoe good luck and I think this be a dope shoe to add to your collection if you don't have the royal one the, the original version and it is a bit more expensive so you guys don't have like that type of or you don't want to spend that type of money then by all means try to go for the shoe all right so we're gonna go a bit more to a meme side of things so apparently I've been seeing a lot of pictures lately in the sneaker world regarding this company called shine sheen I don't know how to pronounce it anyways so here are some pictures of shoes that they were trying to sell a lot of these are mimicking like Jordans they were also mimicking the miss the mischief um Astro, uh, Astro Boy boots and they were selling it for like $50. They just got mad so I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan Brand or Nike Brand filed a lawsuit on this uh, company. Yeah, it's just funny because I've been seeing a lot of comments how people are just saying uh, if when you buy a shoe off Wish or something like that. But this is um, arguably worse than Wish because they're they're not even trying to be creative. They're just like really copying and pasting. It's like whenever you're in high school when your friend says when you didn't do your homework when your friend says don't make it look like you didn't copy off me but then you actually just like copied and paste your homework that's pretty much sheen or shine i don't know what you call it i don't even know where this company is based from i, I i'm i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna make any assumptions but um, i don't even know where it's from but it's just so funny it's a more of like a like a joke in the sneaker community but shout out to sheen but you guys are getting way out of hand all right so we're gonna be now moving into the future we're gonna be looking at holiday and fall 2023 so there are two big sneakers 
as that have been confirmed that are gonna be restocking this year or re-releasing less per se. So the first one is the Travis Scott SB restock. It's gonna be restocking in fall of 2023. Now, if you guys don't know which one, which shoe it is, it is the Travis Scott skateboard. The one there's only one Travis Scott SB, so you guys should know. But if you guys don't know it, here's the picture. And this is a really dope shoe. I'm not even like a like a SB head. But I really like this shoe. I really wish I could get my hands on these. Because right now they're going for like 2000, 2001, 2000 plus pretty much. They're very expensive shoe to get and they're hard to get. So I'm not really down to pay four figures just for a pair of shoes. I've done it in the past but I'm not proud of it. But with that being said, I'm be very, very excited for these to release, re-release. If not, if, if it's a new colorway, fine, I'll be happy as well. But I'd be I'd be really happy if they restock these. I want these in my collection. I really want these in my collection. It's the hype beast in me talking. Excuse me. All right, now moving on to um, holiday 2023. So the Kobe Reverse Grinch are supposedly su releasing this year. So if you guys don't know what the Kobe Reverse Grinch it are, I'm going to post a picture anyways. It's these ones. So it's basically the Grinch. You guys don't know the Grinch is the the all neon green Kobe Six Procho. The reverse Grinch is the red version of it. So I'm very excited because I've never owned a pair of Kobe's and I'm uh, it's on my bucket list to own a pair of Kobe's. But Kobe's are super expensive and they've just been you know I'm not down to pay a lot of money for a pair of basketball shoes. Especially I don't play basketball like that anymore. And I'm just really excited for these to re-release. And I'm hoping that I could get my pair for retail or if above retail maybe like. Four hundred dollars, I'll pay. Five, six, it's going too much, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get a pair. All right, guys. Last but not least, it is a sneak peek into the Jordan twenty twenty four spring release, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not gonna show all the Jordans releasing in tw spring twenty twenty four, but I've seen a few, and wow, the 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 lookbook into twenty twenty four is fire. It's fire. So obviously, I've talked about the military blue which have been confirmed are releasing next year and then I've seen the, the the breads as well they're coming out and then there's two other sneakers I've seen that I think are worth showing so it is the um, the black toe ones and then there was another Jordan 4 it looked like an off-white colorway it looked like a sale colorway pretty much but obviously it's not off-white I don't know it could be off-white I don't know don't 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 quote me but it look I'm gonna post a picture, but wow, the the lineup for Jordan 2024 is truly like one of the best I've ever seen. It's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? There's no way that can be right. Can it? Personally speaking, and I'm very excited. Man, my bank account's gonna be drained next year so i gotta start saving up and i'm very excited i'm really really excited the the sneaker world has been on fire lately a lot of upcoming heat and you know a lot of great sneakers and you know adidas just coming back jordan releasing a lot of shoes that we've been waiting for and it's just a great time to be a sneakerhead really it really is so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please leave a like comment share and subscribe if you're new to the channel help me reach 300 subscribers and it's your boy Lost Souls tuning out. Before I leave, guys, I know I've been kind of MIA um, lately. It's because I've been working a lot. Um, so that's why. But also, I've been kind of going through some things, which I can mention in another video. I'd gladly um, tell you guys what's going on in my life. But um, it's your boy Lost Souls tuning out. Catch you guys in the next vid. And peace.